welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our county food pantry. They allow you to come in twice a month. The first one you come in and it's a you get what you get situation. Everything is pre-selected um, out. You can say no to items, but um, you don't get to, to pick off of a shelf. Uh, and then today's was the um, you get to shop. And you can come any day that you want to that they are open. So I usually try to plan my visit for when, like, we haven't been to the grocery store in about two and a half weeks. We're trying to push it to the end of the month without going. And so I, um, I'm i able to supplement what we get from the grocery store or vice versa, supplement from the food pantry with going to the grocery store, you know, whatever, however you want to say that. Um, so, yeah, I chose to go today because... We're running low on a lot of the basics, a lot of like fresh veggies, that kind of thing. So we were blessed with those today. So yeah, let me show you what we were blessed with. We have a giant bag of romaine lettuce. This has obviously been like food service of some kind and it's seen better days, but I will pick out what we can use. Um, and then I have chickens. And so it's one of those where they were saying they had several bags of these and nobody was taking them because they're so big. Um, our family can make a dent in it, but we won't get all that used before it goes bad. So at least at our house, we can feed it to chickens. Chickens turn it into eggs and then we have eggs. So bonus on that one. Uh, there is a bag of white peaches and they are nice and soft and ready. Some of them already have bad spots on them and that's fine. We'll just make sure those get used up soon. I may end up giving some of those to my kids for lunch today because it's about lunchtime. Two of these packs of um, pre-cut pineapple. Yum. My kids will love those. Uh, a peppercorn ranch chopped salad and this is a cherry almond gorgonzola um, chopped salad. So these are something that I, I will do. I will probably eat this whole thing for lunch. I'll have to leave out part of it like the croutons because I can't do, I have to eat low carb and I can't do um, wheat. And then I usually just use a little bit less of the dressing, but it ends up being that I get like multiple uses out of the dressing. So that's fine. There is a thing of this Boston uh, lettuce. And once again, that's like a sandwich for, or a salad for me but these work great because they're nice big flat leaves I use them as sandwich bread for myself so I will probably use that for that uh we're I think we're gonna have taco salad tonight so that the big thing of lettuce will go toward that uh there is some Amish macaroni salad uh I'm hopeful that my kids like that because it's not something that my husband and I can eat because of carb issues but uh I think they probably will there are two things of broccoli cheddar soup, and these are frozen, so that's what they're going to do is they're going to go right back in the freezer, and then they are perfect to pull out for a quick and easy lunch for my kiddos or um, a dinner. I'll just add some other things to it, like some bread. So there is a gallon of 2% milk, uh, a thing of vanilla wafers in the back, this power bowl which I did not realize that it's super spicy and it's not something that I or my husband can have because of the barley and rice type stuff in it. So I will find a new home for that. Um, and that's fine. I'm sure I can pass that off to somebody else. All right, canned goods. I picked up two of these chocolate peanut butter. I was actually kind of impressed with the carb content on these because it's only six grams for two tablespoons, which is about what normal peanut butter is and this one's chocolate so uh a can of sliced peaches we got to pick one fruit and then four vegetables and I did all black beans because those are always so handy I always stretch my taco meat with one of those um four cans we had to pick four items off of this shelf so I picked four cans of white chicken I use that stuff all the time uh a my daughter wanted this one the cherries and dark chocolate, a thing of tzatziki. This was on the shelf. So outside of the food pantry, they always have a table that is full of take as much as you want because it's things that they have an excessive amount of, things that are going bad, things that they don't think anybody else is going to pick. And so they let you take, it's kind of a free for all. You can take as much as you want. Obviously we're, you know, we don't like gorge on taking everything, but I will, you know, if it's something that they have plenty of, I will load up on it. 
All right, my daughter said that these tasted really good when they had those before from the other food pantry, so um, we picked up those. Uh, a little splurge treat for mom. Those will take me forever to eat um, because my belly generally does not like the fake sweeteners in these, but one occasionally isn't going to hurt anything. They had some of these organic uh, bake and or place and bake cookies, so they gave us two of those. Uh, these are so nice because you can put those in the freezer and they will keep indefinitely in the deep freezer. Um, so yeah, we have some family activities going on this fall that I thought those would be nice for. And then just a nice quick and easy dessert. A thing of Tennessee Pride um, sausage, always useful. We had two things of honey ham. Yay. Uh, we got to pick some bread products. The donuts were part of those. And then we picked this raisin cinnamon loaf. I thought this would be a nice one. It's a pretty hearty, um, crusty bread. So I thought I could make that into French toast for my kiddos. Or they could eat it for breakfast with um, cream cheese on it, that kind of thing. A uh, thing of mini chocolate chip muffins that they can have for breakfasts with like eggs, that kind of thing. Uh, some white uh, Kaiser rolls. And what I will do with these is I will slice them open and lay them out and make them into mini pizzas. Um, and those are great easy lunch. Slice them open, put your toppings on, pop them in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes. And you have pizza. So I love to have these kind of things in the freezer at all times. This was another thing that was out on that table. And they had stacks and stacks and stacks of these. So I picked up eight packages with four each of the guacamole. Um, you can freeze these. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that. Hummus of any kind, you can freeze these. And then you just thaw them out. So these expired on the 13th. Not a big deal because, like I said, I'm just going to pop them in the freezer. And then we have guac for dipping with chips, um, taco salad, um, anything along those lines. So, yeah, I was super excited to get those because I haven't been buying guac here lately because it's so expensive. A big container of old-fashioned oats. Yay, that will be handy this winter. This was another item that they had on that take-as-much-as-you-want table. Um, they are baby squeezy pouches. And I picked up two, and then the lady goes, oh, does your kiddo like those? And I said, yeah, and she goes, okay, take more. And so I picked up one more, and she's like, no, take more, because they had a bunch of them. Um, I know I probably counted 20 packs of them. So I ended up with five uh, packs of them, and that's completely fine, because once again, my, my youngest for sure will eat these. These are the things that I throw at her when she's hungry before mealtime, or... Um, we're on our way home from somewhere and she needs something on our way home from church, those kind of things. And then I have a couple other kiddos that have no issue with um, drinking them as well, even though they're meant for babies. Um, the Nan rounds, non, sorry, were also out on that table of take as much as you want. And they had several of those. So I took three of these. And once again, these I use for mini pizzas. Um, once again, same thing, top them, Bake them at 400 for about 10 minutes, and you have little mini pizzas. Uh, great, great lunch option. And then, of course, you can use them as sandwich bread. Um, or you could do, for breakfast, you could do cream cheese and a little jelly on them. Or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with them. They're essentially just bread. So, uh, non-food items, we had a roll of toilet paper. And then this Smarty Pants is an awesome brand of vitamins and they had this women's formula which is um my oldest daughter will take these uh I usually she's 13 so six gummies is a serving wow that's a lot um I will just give her like half a serving is usually what I end up doing because she's not quite a woman but she's getting there um down here each household got six bottles of, or sorry, for every member of your household, you got a bottle of water. So we have a seven member household. So we got seven bottles of water and then we got to pick out seven other drinks. And so I picked out a bunch of different flavors of sparkling water. The, the Clear American brand is really good for an inexpensive brand. And then out on that table, they had these bubbly bounce and these are sparkling water, but they're caffeinated. Um, I can't do these because my body does not like caffeine. I tried it again here recently and it went, ha ha, no. Um, so, uh, 
I got these for my husband. He's not a huge sparkling water fan, but one thing that I have figured out is to take the plain flavored sparkling water, um, like this Topo Chico is one that you can do it with. It's actually a mineral water. Um, but I just take those and then I take like the Mio squeezy things. I buy the generic brand from Aldi and squirt it in there and it's uh, like you can do grape or orange or something like that and it tastes like soda to me. Mind you, I've not had soda in years besides an occasional diet soda. Um, but they, it's a, a great way of getting that, scratching that soda itch without quite as bad as soda. I mean, it's not much better because it's still the fake sugars, but so yeah, that is everything. I'm going to put all of this stuff away and make some lunch because I have some hungry kiddos. I'm kind of thinking I might make some mini pizzas and the pineapple or the peaches. I don't know. We'll see. That sounds probably pretty good. And then I'm probably going to eat one of those because that sounds good to me. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, taking the time out of your day to, to support my family by watching them. The ads, you know, obviously help. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.